did, we taught you three tricks. We did a shake hands or a paw. We did a spin and a twist. They were all novice tricks. We're now going to do some intermediate tricks. And the first one we're going to do is building on one of your novice tricks. And that is the shake hands. And what we're going to teach you now is how to teach your dog to wave goodbye. So I want you to have done the shake hands first so that when you say shake hands, your dog gives you their paw and you can shake hands. Good boy. Um, and we're going to build on that. We're going to teach this in exactly the same way. We're not going to give a cue for shake hands. And what we're going to do is instead of putting our hand there at this height, we're going to put our hand further up. So do that again. That's a shake hands height. For a paw, I'm going to have my hand, sorry, for a wave, I'm going to have my hand up there. Okay. I'm going to go back initially to using a fula to make it really easy for him because this is totally new as far as he's concerned. But instead of putting my hand at the height I had it before, I'm going to put it higher. Yes, and I'm going to mark and reward at that higher height. Okay, we're going to do that several times. Oops, and I dropped a little bit. Come on. Yes, okay. I'm not expecting him to keep that contact. His paws come in higher up. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to do exactly the same as with your shake hands. You're going to get rid of the food. Yes, as you can see, I'm um, getting his paw higher up than a shake hands. Yes. Okay. And once your dog's doing that really well, which could take several sessions because I don't want you to just keep on and on and on at this. Okay, you go at the rate that they're learning at. And if if they're not getting a stage, take it back a stage. You can always regress. Don't try to keep pushing forwards. You want them to know very clearly at each stage what it is that you want them to do. It once more, yes. So once your dog's got that, however, you can take it forward. And what you're going to do is that you're going to take your hand away. So rather than having that contact, you're literally going to almost let them touch the end of your fingers rather than your full hand. Yes. Okay. And you're going to do that several times. And you're going to mark and reward. Yes. Okay. And once you've been doing that, and they know exactly what it is that you're wanting them to do, then you're not actually going to let their paw touch your hand. Yes. So you see, I moved my hand away before he made contact with it. Yes. Okay. So his paw's still coming up nice and high, but I moved my hand away so that I'm not holding his paw. Yes. And as you can see now, we've got a web. So, what I'm going to do now is introduce the cue. And I'm going to ask him, Jambo wave. Yes. And as you can see, he already knows that cue. So if Paul came straight up, your dog won. So you say, wave. You put your hand up, they bring their paw, and you mark and reward. Wave. Yes. Jambo wave. Yes. And what I'm doing with my hand is I'm mimicking a wave. And if you think about it before, I was putting my hand up like that. Now, I'm almost doing a wave. Okay? Jumbo wave. Yes. And that is your hand signal. Nice jumbo. So show you once more. Jumbo wave. Yes. Jumbo wave. Yes. Okay? And that is how you're going to teach your dog to wave goodbye. Okay, now the next trick that we're going to teach, I'm calling it a trick, but actually it's just a really useful behaviour. We're going to teach our dogs to go to their mat or bed. You can use whatever you want. Okay, this is actually um, a good one to use a clicker with, but we're going to use our verbal marker, the word yes. And I'm just going to show you the final behaviour. Jen will sit and I'll put the bed down over there. On your mat. Yes. And what I'm going to do, I just marked that. I'm going to go over and reward him on his mat. Okay. Well, how I'm going to teach this is I'm going to make it really, really simple for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, take the easiest way of doing this. And I'm going to put the mat down and I'm going to put some food on it. And as soon as Jambo goes on that mat to eat the food, 
I'm going to mark him again and reward him. So he's gone to the mat and he gets more food. So he finds food on the mat in the first place, he's going to clearly see me putting it there, but then he's going to get an extra reward as soon as he touches that mat, I am going to mark a reward. So let me just show you. So I'm going to have two bits of food here. One bit is going to stay in my hand and the other bit is going on the mat. Okay? So jump will wait. I'll put it there. Nice and near. Don't want to make it too difficult. And I'm going to put the food down. Yes, good boy. You didn't quite get on it. Yes. 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 Okay. So this is something else that you can do. You can lower them on. It's not a very big mat. If it had been bigger, he would have got on it. Yes. Yes. Oh, big reward now because he's sat down. Yes. 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 Now what I'm going to do, yes, after we've rewarded lots and lots on this mat, is that I'm going to mark, yes, and I'm going to put the food down there. So now I'm going to mark, yes, but I'm going to put the food there. And then we'll see if he comes back on the mat. Yes, I'm going to take that. I think that's good enough. Okay, if it was a bigger mat, he would have been on there. So I'm throwing one down to recess him up. Yes, very good boy. Nice jambo. Okay, yes. Reward him a few times directly onto the mat. And then I'm going to set him up again by marking, but putting the food elsewhere. Yes. And then we'll wait. Hopefully your dog goes back to the mat. Yes. Good boy. Reward them again on the mat. Yes. Yes. And then do one where you mark but reward off. Yes. We're then going to wait. Hopefully he'll go back on. Yes. And you see, he's very quickly got the idea, without me even using his cue, that this is what I want, that I want him to be on that mat. Once he's got this idea, then I'm going to add in the verbal cue. On your mat! Yes. On your mat! Yes. Right, the next trick we're going to teach our dogs is how to do a figure eight. And a figure eight is when your dog weaves through your legs in the shape of an eight. How are you going to teach this? Well, you're going to teach it with food laws. Okay? So your dog is already used to following that food law in your hand, so that's what you're going to take advantage of. So I will just show you the final behavior. And this is what a figure of eight should look like once you've taught it. Okay, Jumbo. Jumbo, eight. Good boy, eight. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy, you. There you go. So, I'd like you to start with your dog on your left side. Okay, so your dog is going to be to your left. You're going to take a food law, something nice and tasty, in your right hand. Okay, and you're going to lure your dog through your legs. Okay, Jumbo, Jumbo, sit. So, he's at my left side. I've angled myself slightly though, so that he's going to come through my legs. Okay? Yes, and as soon as he gets there, I'm going to mark that and reward. So, he's now on my right side, so I'm going to take the food in my left hand, I'm bringing it round the back of my leg. Yes. Okay. Now, it's at my left, so I take it in my right hand, round the back. Yes. Now, what I don't want you to do is put your hand in front of your leg. The reason being, if you do that, if instead of doing this, 
I were to do this, look, oops, he's come straight in front. That's not his fault, that's my fault, okay? So just be careful what you're doing with this food in your hand. For example, when you're bringing him this way, then don't be waving food around in this hand over here because he may well go over there. If you drop food on the floor, they may well go for that. Okay, so let me just show you again. Come on close. Good boy. And you take the food, you're going to take it behind your leg, bring them round. Yes. Okay. And then going to take the food in the other hand, behind your back. Yes. Once you've done that a few times, what I'd like you to do is have the food ready in both hands so that you can continue this movement on. So I've got a little bit for both hands. I'm going to keep this left hand out of the way initially because I don't want him to follow that left hand. It's this hand. Bring it behind my back. Yes, but very quickly I'm going to put that one there. Yes, so that he follows through for that. Okay, so you see what I did there. So food in both hands. Don't put this one down yet. Put it behind your back or wherever, but out of his way. It can be wherever, but not down there. Okay? Take your hand behind. Bring this hand down now. And look. The other thing I like to sort of think is that it's almost like you're passing a lead through your legs. Once you've done that several times with the food, you're going to get rid of the food. Okay? If they don't follow your hand movement, then you add the food back in. Okay, don't try and rush this. So we'll try one. Yes. And I'm not expecting a full eight. I've gone right back to just coming around one leg and I mark and reward. Yes. Okay, so take it back a step. You've upped the criteria by taking away the food. Yes. And be very quick to reward them. Yes. Okay. Once they've got that, you can then carry on and basically ask them for two legs. Yes, notice I still make it really obvious and I use both of my hands as cues. These hands are cues. One hand, swap to other hand, yes. Okay. The other thing I mentioned was a leash. Imagine you've got an imaginary leash or lead in your hand. And you pull the leash this way, you then pass it through and pull it that way. Yes. I don't actually want you to be pulling any leashes though. This is imaginary. Remember that. Yes. Okay. It just helps some people to pass, to get the hand movements right if they think they're passing a leash. Yes. Good boy. And that's how you're going to teach figure eight. Okay, so that's the end of our videos for the um, Pet Professional Guilds International Day of Force Free Training. We hope that you've learned a few new tricks and that you've ho hope that you've also learned how positive reinforcement training works. We also hope that you've seen um, how great the bully breeds can be. Um, Jambo's Facebook page is Jambo Staffy Bull Terrier Trick Dog and like I say, I hope you've really, um, really enjoyed what we've been doing and that you too get involved in the Pet Professional Guild's day of celebrating force-free training and help us spread the word about the fact that no breed needs to be trained with force. Okay, Jambo, are you going to wave bye-bye to everybody? Wave bye-bye. Oh, wave. Yes, good boy. Nice job, more.